What's up guys? Welcome back to Fort Miss. We have probably the greatest Fort Miss episode today. We're doing a survival RV video. We have done an overnight video in the RV before, but not with Christmas edition. No, and plus that was in the summertime. It's winter. We have brought a bunch of provisions so that we can survive overnight, but we are literally going to be driving somewhere, sleeping somewhere random, and hopefully surviving. But before we continue the overnight challenge, we have to give a special shout out to Wix.com for sponsoring this episode. We partnered with Wix to build our own custom website and as you guys can probably tell, we don't know anything about building websites, but Wix did everything for us. It's super fun and easy to use. You guys have got to try it out. We're hosting a contest, so set up your website with the link in the description, and we're going to be giving away a free merch care package. Stay until the end to find out how you can win this care package. Trust me, you're going to want to win this one. Thanks, Wix. Now, back to the video. Before we hit the road, guys, we got to fill up on some gas. This thing probably gets one mile to the gallon, so Phillips are every day. Phillips? Phillips. Fuel, check. Snacks? Must have snacks. Go! So when it comes to survival food, what do you think we should get? So many options. I know, there's so many things you could pay. But I saw a comment from a couple of you guys saying, you already know our normal go-to snacks, and someone was like, do you guys like ever get fruit or something? So I got a banana this time. Yeah, maybe I'll get one too. Ah, is this dinner? I think Mac so. Mac and cheese, yes. <laughs> we gotta think of breakfast items as well because we're staying overnight. And one of the essential items of breakfast is coffee. Also, we need dessert, and these are incredible. He wants. Put them in the basket now. Uh oh, guys. It's getting later in the day. It gets dark by like 4 30 here. And we definitely don't want to be searching for a spot when it's dark out. So we got to hurry. We've got all of our supplies. We're heading to the woods now. I was telling them we got to hurry. Really? Yeah, because it's about to be dark and we don't want to be driving around in the dark in this thing. Yeah, no. No. Is this thing full speed? I got the pedal down to the floor, boys. Buckle up. You see those mountains and those woods over there? That's where we're going? That's where we're going. Full. Hey guys, is this even a road? I think. Hey! Uh, this looks like, like an abandoned road. It's all right. We're somewhere in the woods. Okay, stop, okay. stop, stop. We got ourselves a spot. Guys, we made it safely and we still have light out. We definitely want to put on the e-brake because we don't want to be rolling away during the middle of the night. That would be bad. Uh. Yes! We are in the woods. Luckily, it doesn't look like it's gonna be snowing tonight, guys. Oh, Clear yeah. skies. That's another thing, good thing, because <gasps> the RV leaks. If it was raining, snowing, we'd be like just sitting in like a pool. This is a pretty nice spot. We're definitely gonna be doing some exploring tonight. No idea what's really around here, but that's the best part about overnight challenges is the exploring. Well, first things first, we need to get the RV situated because when you're driving, stuff flies everywhere, so we need to set it back up. Yeah, you guys wanna see how messy it is in here? Everything fell down. And we brought some really cool items we wanna show you guys for this overnight. Look how bad oh, this looks. Oh man, it looks like a tornado went through here. Okay, just hang on, hang on. All right, we're gonna do some cleanup, one sec. We just finished organizing, and let me tell you, I'm ready. Guys, check it out, the floor is clean. We got, of course, our two chairs plus multiple pillows for comfort. But the newest addition to the RV, a fireplace, literally. That thing, if we didn't have that, we'd freeze to death. 
I know. So this is going to come in much handy. We'll turn it on and show you guys later. But we got our Christmas tree with the presents, of course. We got a table here. And the coolest part is this. We brought the TVs because, guys, when you're in the woods, there's not much to do. At night, we're going to be playing some video games, just relaxing. It's a fort. You got to have things you like and that are fun. And that's this. Dual wield. Check this out. So one reason why this is a good spot. Look, there's a plug right out there. No way. Nah. -uh. Yeah. Yes. This is what we're going to use for all the fun. And the lights, we're actually going to have power. Are you guys ready to see everything plugged in? Yes. Give me a countdown. In three, two, one. <gasps> oh. Check this out, guys. Oh, literally blows out heat. So hopefully this warms up the cabin real quick because it, it's the sun's not fully down, but it's freezing in here. It is five o'clock now and we're pretty hungry. Five o'clock is about dinner time. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for some food. Yeah, me too. So what did we, what did we get? Mac, macaroni. Here we got the dinner table. Open that up. We got some pasta. You got some mac and cheese. We got all the snacks for dinner. Oh. Two different types of chips. And guys, like Andrew said, you guys say we don't eat vegetables. I got a green vegetable what smoothie. What do you call that, guys? And check this out. And your fruits. I get my fruits, okay? Have a, a bite there, lad. A lovely pile of cheese just for me. Mmm. Dinner was very good. How do you feel? Do you, you feel full? I feel fueled up. Look, it's like 5.15, 5.30-ish. Dark. Dude. It's dark out already. Dude. We got to get out. We, gotta get... <laughs> we have to go outside and explore before it's like way too dark. Oh. It's scary. Did you bring something for exploring? Check this out. Dude, yes. So we can see because there, since we're in the woods, there is a possibility of there being animals. Because check this out. We got this flyer recently. It's a, a little guide here of camping and hiking in bear country. So yeah, there might be some critters out there. I ain't scared. What the? All right, I just got my jacket on. You better gear up, boy. Yeah. It's cold outside, I think. Well, luckily I brought my big jacket right there. Good. But here's the thing, guys. When you explore, well, when we explore, we don't really know what we're looking for. We're just exploring. <laughs> so who knows what we're going to find tonight, Andrew? Also, we're going to leave the lights on in here just so we can find our way back. So we don't get lost in the wilderness. No, -uh, there's snow out here. Ah, oh, great. But just look how cool the RV looks. <laughs> <laughs> you got the lights blinking, too. Yeah, those Hi. are the, the voice-activated lights. Ha-ha! <laughs> and it's going to get down into the 20s tonight. That's definitely animals, I think. Luckily, they're not big bear paws. Yeah, if you see bear paws, I'm going back. It's getting really dark. Look up here. Still, like, we're still kind of catching the sunset. It looks like pink and purple. Does that look cool? Yeah. Wait. What? You remember where we are? Have you been keeping track? We just came from that way. Okay, we gotta keep track. Just go Can't back get now. lost in the woods. Just go now. back that way if you wanna go home. Oh, Christ! Who put that there? Who <laughs> put that there for pranks? <laughs> uh, no! We may have come to something. So, look back here. There's a bunch of trees. But then, when you look over here, literally, it's just an open field. Why? Somebody's up to something. Dude, why does it just look so cool out tonight? Guys, look at this. Look how amazing this view is. Yeah. If we don't find anything during this exploring, I think just this sunset is enough. Yeah, totally. 
I found a pile of poop. But it's suspicious because it's right next to this man-made footprint. Oh, why is there only one footprint? Like, where's the other ones? There's nothing else up here. We literally have just come upon this canyon. Ooh, look down there. Can you see that? Oh, you can't really see, but look, it's like at an angle. We'll have to take this slow, but I don't know what's down there. Oh yeah, I can kind of see now the valley. See better? A little bit. Easy. See, like it goes that way. It's kind of hard to tell, but it looks like there's a clearing down there. Man. This definitely feels like we're on Mars or something. I mean, look at the like rock formations. These are the Mars rock formations. It's out of focus because it's so dark out here, guys. There we go. Hey everybody, welcome to Mr. Stewart's science class. Um, today we are going to be studying tree analogy. Now take a look at this, rock sedimentation. The roots go through this rock and you can see that this tree can weather any storm because the deep roots. This is called the ferment of the sedimentation. The saplings drip down and seep through the rock crescents here, forming a vein crescent formation and that is uh, the science lesson of the day. Uh, what? What? You see something? There's something down here. It's like a big container. It looks like there's fields. Let's do it. Okay, let's go take a look. Dude, what is all this? What? Dude, where are we? Guys, we just came from over there. As you can see, there's the mountain. Right when you walk down here, there's these giant tubes. Hello? I can't see you. You're way in there, man. What? <laughs> Dude, you actually fit in that thing. Dude, I thought- this is cool. I thought you, I know. Dude, and there's even more right here. Whoa. I don't know what all this is, but this is so cool. We thought we'd only find the sunset tonight. Yeah. We found something even cooler. Dude, this reminds me of that movie Super 8. You seen that? Yeah. Oh. Okay. This is a pretty small tube, but it's hard to do this with one hand. Oh. I don't know what's going on out here. The mystery of the history. But guess what? I'm getting cold. Literally, my hands, I don't know if I can feel my hands anymore. My hands are cold, my nose is cold. I don't know. Do you remember how we caught here? No. Dude. We just made it to the top of this like little bluff. Wow. That's you cool. The whole highway, dude, that's crazy. It's so dark out, the only thing you can see is the RV lights. We're home. How warm is it in here? Oh, better. Dude, it's way warmer in here. Yes. Oh. Yay. It's uh it's about relaxation time. So that means it's time to get into some PJs. Uh, Ta-da! Wow. Uh, relaxation. I did days. not bring any PJs. You gotta be kidding me, Marv. Sorry. But now for the best part, we gotta connect our PS4s. And like we showed you earlier, we have two TVs and we have two PS4s. We have an update for you. As you can see, the TVs are off. Why? I just can't even. It's just the Wi-Fi capacity in the woods is like bar none awful. Somebody broke the internet! We have another fun idea, actually. Why don't yeah. you tell them about it? Well, okay, so first of all, we're hungry again, and all we have is chips. It's not, and dessert, but that's not like, you know. We're growing men, we need food, all right? So, who's ever heard of a delivery man into the middle of the woods? Not me. I don't know, but let's try. I'm just glad that we even have like a little service because we can at least make a phone call to see if they'll deliver out here. How can I help you? Uh, hey, I just had a quick question. Do you guys deliver to the woods? I'm sorry, you cut out. What was that? Do you guys deliver to the woods? Deliver to the woods? So I'm having a hard time hearing you very well. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, service isn't that great. How big are your cow zones? Would you say they're like, well, they're like this big or like this big? 
I, I can't see what hand gestures you're making, so I, I can't tell. They're, they're big. They're, I don't know, eight to ten inches long and then three or four inches tall. It says food should be arriving shortly. Probably, I don't know, like 30 minutes. That'd be my guess. Wow, guys. Easy. Where are you? There he is. Fly. Oh! <laughs> what? The? Where do these flies come from? We got flies that are invading our RV, and they're not welcome. So they're about to get smashed to pieces. <laughs> Did I kill him? Did I kill him? We think maybe the flies are coming through a hole here in the roof, so we're kind of taping it up. They're not ever allowed back. <laughs> They're literally going to be delivering pizza. We told them where we're at. Sorry, that fly just distracted me. So I'm very excited good. about that. There's pizza guys here. First time doing through a window. Yeah. First time for everything. Thank you. Honestly, I'm surprised you guys are here. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank yeah, you thanks, very much. Man. Have a we'll good night. Later. Yes, guys! No, it's no. here! I'm just shocked that they delivered. He, he comes out here all the time, he said. Ah, oh, but now it's cold in here again. Yeah, but look, I have a special surprise just for second dinner. <gasps> Lemonade? Mmm, San Peregrino. Ah! Simple pizza. Nice. These are the wings. And they came with ranch. Didn't even have to ask. For Woods Delivery Food Service, can't complain. We're trying to play iPhone games. We're playing Brawl Stars right now. And just got out the cookies. Yes. But uh, it's pretty chill over here. It's about 8 p.m. Not too tired yet, you? I'm actually a little tired. Heater is actually helping. It's actually warming it up, so. Bud just ate a whole box of Oreos. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah. -uh. Uh, it's time to get ready for bed. It's very dark and cold outside. What time but is it? It's actually pretty warm in here. I wish we had like a temperature gauge because like oh. if we open the door, it'll probably let out all the hot air. Except here's the thing. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Me too though. Wow. Are you serious? If I'm not back in 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Drive home. Okay, this is actually perfect timing. I brought the mega Nerf gun, guys. Check it out. So when Andrew comes back in, I'm literally going to unleash fury on him. So too, I got like a little tripod here so I don't have to hold it so I can hold the camera. And literally, right when he walks in. Don't worry. We got a red. Ow. I don't know what that means. You just got welts all over my body. And we can put both the bean bags there so it's like a cozy little zone. We'll probably just roll out the sleeping bags right here, which we got right up there. So I feel like if we create this little heat barrier, it'll trap it all down here and keep us very warm. And the reason we're not sleeping like up there or on these couches is because this is just leak fest like flies. water drip always is leaking from that ceiling who knows the where these have been nest is probably up there we just installed these carpets so we know like this is a little better i guess we'll update you guys in the morning <laughs> good night many many minutes later look who decided to wake up my face was freezing last night <laughs> yeah what I'm time sure. is it by the way 7 42 Got some good sleep. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to sleep, but this fireplace came in clutch. But since it's morning, guys, it's time for coffee! Yes! Let's try a bite. Not only coffee, fellas, it's time for the banana. We could have cookies, too. Really? Yeah, yeah that's right. Have... Mom's not here. <laughs> Does anybody want any Gand Ookies? Literally, if we didn't have this fireplace, I think we would have turned into icebergs. Even just leaving this this close to the fire, I feel like I'm gonna freeze. Okay, so we just finished our coffees. And I don't know if you guys have this problem, but if you drink coffee in the morning, not 
10 minutes later, the bowels start moving and yeah. a bathroom is needed immediately. Literally. That's a lot of the reason why you drink coffee is to help go into the bathroom. But, uh, I don't but know we're in the bathroom. middle of the woods. Uh, you're going to have to use <laughs> the bathroom I'm, in there. I'm not going in there. Not now. Uh, not ever. Hey, Marv, I got you a ah. Christmas present. Ow! What is that? Okay, time to clean up. We got to get this show on the road. We need to find a bathroom, too. Ah. I don't know if you guys have seen the bathroom recently. Or pigsty. Check it out. Uh, geez. We, we never film in here. This is more like the storage center. Yeah, this is a storage closet. This is actually pretty big. We got the Christmas tree box and extra carpet. Uh, I would never use this sink or toilet. Here comes the moment of truth as well. Please start. Come oh, on. No. Yes! Phew! So we found a road, and guys, we literally just came upon something up here. We have to show you. I have no idea what this is. Dude, it's a castle! Where are we? Dude, we have to come back here. Yeah. We have to explore this castle. Leave a like if you guys want us to come back to this castle and explore because this is just, I don't know what's going on. It's time to discuss the merch contest. Yes. As you guys can see, we built our website so that we can interact with you guys. You can submit ideas for future videos. You can submit designs for merch and we might even use some of your guys' suggestions to use in a video or on merch. And having a website is super beneficial because you can showcase your interests, your talents, your hobbies. If you start a business, having a website, that's so important. It can help you land a job. So lots of things to consider for a website. So you guys can either create your own design or pick an already made template just to keep it simple. Anything works. And it also comes with a variety of apps you can already add, like tons of features, e-commerce, booking systems, contact forms, mailboxes, marketing tools, all these things for you guys. And like we said, you don't need any experience. The best thing is that it's quick and easy. So make sure you guys check out the link below and create your own website now. So thank you again, Wix, for sponsoring this video and helping us set up our website. Now to win the merch package, if you guys create your own website with the link below and send it to us, we are going to choose one random person to send all of our merch to, plus some special extra goodies. We're excited to see what kind of websites you guys design, so send us your links. And thanks again, Wix, for sponsoring this video. Guys, we finally made it home safe, back to civilization. Oh, I can't believe we did it. We hope you guys enjoyed this overnight challenge. We definitely did. Be sure to leave a like and make sure, as always, you laugh daily. We'll see you back here next time. Goodbye.